Hi there and welcome to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video I will going to talk about the previous function. So previous function is one of the useful function which helps us look up the previously loaded value. So how to use this? Well whenever you have a scenario like this where you need to look up the previous value let's say for the purpose of comparison within the script for example from previous day sale to current day sale or previous quarter sale to current quarter sale if that's how your data is then you can use the previous function all right so what do we want is let's say we want to compare the units so to do that what i will do is i will create one table come comp compare underscore unit and i will say load star star will going to load all the columns which are here and then i will say previous and in that i will specify unit all right as prev underscore unit resident order data because these are all the columns we need to fetch so we resident the order data and that's it now since all the columns are here we don't need the order data so i will going to drop the table order data over here hit save and load it all right uh it's saying unit all right it should be units save load all right it's loaded fine come to the front end let's create one table over here add the dimension so let's keep on adding the dimension like invoice id one more dimension the customer id i guess the product id then the units and finally the previous units okay so now if we expand this table a little bit so we have this table now for because eight was the first so we don't we are not getting anything but for six we are getting the previous value eight for ten we are getting the previous value six for five we are getting the previous value ten and then finally for the ten we are getting the previous value as five so that's about how easily you can pick up the previous value in the back end itself so that uh, your front end engine don't have the load of uh, doing this calculation using the other function like uh, you have uh, above function which pretty much does the same thing so that's about it in the in this uh, previous function video and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic